guys, I just got my Syntact, and as I was listening to some of the sounds, it kind of reminded me of Venetian Snares, traditional synthesizer music album. So I thought a way to demonstrate some of the features on it and show the opportunity for chaos would be to do a Venetian Snares cover. So here we go. The Syntact is a 12-track groove box with effect sends for the tracks that sends out to one reverb and one delay. Eight of the tracks are digital FM synthesis, which brings to mind the Electron model cycles. And there are four instrument tracks that are similar to the Electron rhythm drum machine. Let's look at the possibilities for each track. So the Syntact has what are called machines, which are like some preset macros that will steer you in the right direction if you want a bass sound or if you want uh, a certain kind of drum sound. And there'll be commonly used parameters that these encoders can change along with these five buttons here. So let me show you. So first I'll hit track one and then I'll hit function machine and it shows me that track one can have any of these machines on it. It starts out and says that it's digital for one thing and then there's a list of possible machines that track one can have on it. And I'll use these arrows to select the different ones. And the SY ones are synthesizer. So you have a bits one that's kind of like 8-bit uh, synth. Chord synth. And you can have MIDI. The chord one is slightly more interesting in that it has these little Pac-Man ghosts there. And it, it's the one that is polyphonic that you can actually play chords with. You can go from unison to having preset chords you can use. And then you can change the wave. And then you can use these five buttons and these eight encoders to change commonly changed parameters. Uh, like the filter and it has an, a filter envelope and here's where you could add some reverb to it and it has two LFOs you can hit that twice and get two different pages of LFO then I'll put it on track 9 and I'll hit function machine and it says that it's an analog drum track and it shows you the different possibilities for 9 through 11. 12 is a little bit different analog track. I'll show you in a second. And those are the ones that you can have on 9 through 11. Then I'll hit track 12 and I'll hit function machine and you can see that it's an analog symbol track and here's the possibilities for that one that's a really nice cowbell it's a pretty nice sound and reverb So those are the possibilities. Now getting started with the track. It is it's the third track on the Venetian Snares traditional synthesizer music. And so the place to start is by hitting this little gear symbol. And I'm in project right now. I'll hit yes. And I'll go to 
load project yes and I'll go down to create new and it's initializing a new project hitting no to get back to the main screen so when I first started out I automatically found something that I thought Electron could improve on because uh, the song I'm remaking is in a strange time signature it's 7-4 time signature which is really no problem I'm gonna hit function page it's really no problem if you're just doing one page right because you can just turn this to 14 get out of that and I'll hit play and you can see what's happening it gets to 14 and it starts over and with that we could get our 7-4 time signature but the problem is that Electron does not allow you to decide the step each page will reset on. You can't have four pages each page having 14 steps because when you put the second page on like that it automatically added those two steps so if Electron could improve something for me and the other 0.01% uh, of users who want to do 7-4 time. So the workaround for that is just to have four pages like that with a total of 56 steps because 4 times 14 is 56. Now as I page through it I won't be able to see the one every time being on the one I'm just going to show you how I made the track. So um, starting with pattern one, there you can mute these tracks by holding down the function and you see the green tracks. Well, I'm going to start out with the, the kick, which is on going to be the analog kick on nine. When you switch from track to track, you can see what it is. So I hit track nine, and I can see that it's bass drum hard sound is the machine that it is. You could also hit function machine, and it slid up there which one I'm currently using. So this is my one here, and this is a one here. That's page two, that's page three, that's page four, which actually is going to end right here on step eight because I set it to 56 total steps out of the four and that's going to give me that seven four time then I'll go to track 10 which is the snare and now you get this then you can add your hi-hat and you get this And then I would put in the bass, and I use the analog bass. So I'll go to track 10. And with the bass, you might want to play it in using the chromatic keyboard. By hitting function track, you can now see that these whites represent a chromatic keyboard. <laughs> get octaves by using the up and down arrows and if you hit the trig button you can see which note each one is by holding in you can see that that's E5 and you get this then and then the next thing I put in was the the cello. Now, I made the cello, and I'll, I'll tell you, a good way to make instruments is to hit Function Sound, and then go to Sound Browser. And by using these keys here at the bottom, you can go through the banks. So what I did was I found a similar, kind of a similar sound and I messed around with it and I really got the sound of a bow being pulled across the cello string. The feedback. And you 
get this. And then I add, there is some type of human voice sound, synthesized human voice. And I did the same thing again, you know, going into function sound, sound browser, yes. And going through there and by hitting function yes and just previewing those this is the one I made kind of an awe sound synthesized human voice sound but I just went through here and just listened to some of the uh, the sounds in there and found one similar now as far as some of the wilder patterns that you heard that weren't that were even somewhat crazier than the actual song. I just copied pattern one through four down here to nine through 12, and then I started tweaking stuff. So let's see, pattern nine. So it has just a bunch of snares that I turned the pitch on. So just by hitting synth and yes, it will randomize the synth pattern. But then when you get all done and you have your patterns, you can chain them together. You only get one chain and you can't save it. And that part's unfortunate. Hopefully that is to change in a, in a future update. And I think that would be something a lot more people could use <laughs> than being able to easily do 7-4 time. But for now, you can chain one. Uh, you can have one chain to use. Um, and the way you do it is you hit pattern and then you just hold down the first one and start adding to it. And now it's going to play one through four, then it'll play nine through 12. So that's a basic introduction uh, as to how to use it. I see that there's some Sizzix dump available that you can do in here that uh, if, if people request that on my Patreon, uh, I could always just Sizzix dump this whole thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one.